Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, I got something nice for you guys today. We're not going to do anything boring really, uh, although we might need to change a bunch of values, but we're going to go over from one tile sheet, one player character sheet to another, which I have here. And I know it seems a little more simple, but it's a lot better for this game and it's a lot smaller. That's what we want. So I kind of have this character sheet and it is, uh, it's from assets that I bought, but you can use this for your study purposes, whatever. Um, I kind of pasted this in by myself. I made my own little idle animation since it didn't have one. So I kind of made it by myself. And then here are all the walking uh, animations. Now, this tutorial is going to be great for this episode because we're going to change. We're going to go from one sprite sheet to another. And that will help us to kind of learn how to do that if you ever want to change your own stuff. Now, the map itself looks a lot different as well because not only do I have this player character sheet or, or sprite sheet I also made a a bunch of uh, textures by myself now these aren't final there's just some stuff I'm playing around with and I'm not an artist by any means but I did try and somewhat you know some of these look all right it's very simplistic very simple uh, so I'm going to be using this not the old one not this one uh, and it's called tile sheet 3 so let's just go right ahead since this video might be a little longer I'm going to go into editor state cpp and I'm going to go ahead and change my tile sheet that I'm using to three. Now, every time I load the editor, it's going to create a new tile map with this tile sheet. And then we can make, you can make your own map using this tile sheet. Okay. And if you go to GitHub and get these files, you can also get the map file that I'm using. To do that, all you have to do is just copy this text.slmp. I just call it text. I don't know why, but you just copy that. And put it in your folder here and it should load it up right quick. And just remove the old one. Make sure it's called text.slmp. Uh, anyway, so tile sheet 3. Once that's done, you go into game state. Now we're going to change the character sheet that we're using. I'm pretty sure uh, the player sheet right here. So I'm going to say player sheet 2. Okay, so we're going to load player sheet 2 into the system. And then we're going to kind of send that into the player once we create the player. Um, now, one other thing you could do is you could just load this into player directly instead of having it in game state, but there, there you do whatever you want. Um, so it doesn't really matter since we're not going to be creating a lot of players all the time. It can be good to have it, have a separate one in player, depending on what player you're using. But we can, we can play around with that later once we have different types of players. Uh, to start off now, all we have to do, now that te texture sheet is loaded, we're going to have to change this up a little bit. Since each one of the tiles or each one of the textures in that uh, big sheet is 64 times 64. We're going to change that here. So let's start off with the idle one. 64, 64, okay? With the height. And then we're going to tell it how fast it should go. 11 is cool. You might even want 15 here, a little slower, since it's uh, a lot less frames. Now we're going to check it out. So... How long is it? Let's go in here. Let's go to resources, images, sprites, player, and then let's open this up. So the idle sheet is from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 0 to 8. We can keep that open. 0 to 8 and 0, 0 on the Y. All right. So it's on the first row and 8 columns wide. So then the idle animation should work. Once that's done, we're going to have to make a bunch of these. All right. So walk left is also 64, 64. Now it's 1, 1. Okay. 1, 1. Um, and the hitbox is weird. We'll get to that soon. Uh, anyway, 1, 1. And we're going to look here. So walk left. All right. Let's just start with this walk down. Walk down. Walk down is zero one two three so zero to three right there that's walk down the next one is walk left so i'm just going to copy this and paste it below four of these walk left is now going to be from four all right from four to seven 
since we can calculate that, that is 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all right? So that's walk left. Walk right is going to be from 8, and then we add 3 to that, so that's 11, all right? And then walk up is the last one, and that's going to go from 12 to 15, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so if that's 12, 13, 14, 15, okay. 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So that seems all right. Now we're just going to comment out attack. No, we'll leave attack there for now. Let's just do 64, 64. Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll probably have the attack animation there. I don't know how large that's going to be. Well, we'll keep it. And then we're going to go down. And in the attack, update attack, I'm just going to comment this out, okay? Very important, because we don't have an animation for this yet, so we're just going to leave it alone. We're not going to do anything with it. Now, we got a few things happening. Now, attacking, whatever, doesn't matter, we don't need any of that. When moving, though, here, moving left, I'm going to remove all of this stuff right there. So, I'm going to remove all of that. And moving left is going to be walk left remove all of this origin stuff and then this is going to be walk right walk up and walk down and you can leave the rest as is because we're going to use these as modulators um up right left okay it seems fine seems cool we we'll go down here no problems no issues here attacking yeah like i said we'll just ignore that Hmm, okay. Okay, now what we gotta change is, actually, I think this is gonna be a little too fast since we have a smaller sprite. So let's just set this to 900. Alright, the acceleration to 1500 and the max velocity to 200. So that will probably be a little better. Um, and this is, uh, let's see. Let's say 55 and 45. And this is gonna be 5 and 10. So the reason I'm doing this is because, remember, we have, no, 44, 54. So 64, 64 is the size of the sprite itself, but the hitbox should be a little smaller. So I'm putting it um, like 10 floats smaller, right? And then I'm centering it by putting an offset of 5. So half of 10, right? So it's going to be centered. If I put 10 here... Then it's gonna it's gonna be weird. So you'll see why. You can play around with these. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see. This centers it. Okay. The reason I have ten here and five here is because ten plus forty-four is no. What would it be? Twenty plus forty-four is sixty-four divided by two is ten. So twenty divided by two is ten. Whatever it doesn't matter. You just play around with it. You'll understand. So once we got this going, let's just go ahead and load this and let's see. Hopefully we'll have that texture. You'll see I, yeah, we do have that texture. All right, there you go. All right, so character's moving. And yeah, also we got the mouse thing going. So this looks a little better. He's moving a little fast. And the animation for idle looks good. All right, so he's moving a little fast. Let's just, let's just put this to 12, maybe double. There we go. All of those to 12. Let's run this again. Oh, okay, he starts up here. It's not good. But there you go. That looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks a lot nicer. And we got a bunch of these boxes and stuff that we can collide with. All of these... Uh, I don't know why that's there. So the beautiful thing is we can just go into the editor, load it. It will load everything up. And we'll just remove that tile right there. And maybe add a little flower there. Boom. Maybe add some more flowers. So you see, I got a lot more textures going now that we had before you could even put a rock on here if you wanted to but we don't want that see how that works so we got layers on top of layers and stuff everything seems fine and these are just test walls they don't look that good but you know save that new game and we got our character in the game all right so i want to show you how this would look without the hitbox component and everything uh, so where do we render the player and then we'll make a little boolean here. Bool show hit box. All right, const bool show hit box. 
equals false. We'll do the equals outside. Uh, we'll just copy this thing. We need to put it in the h file as well. So let's go to player.h. Let's just put that in there. Equals false. And then player if show hitbox. Okay, so since that's false, we won't get that hitbox there directly. We'll have to kind of go into where we render everything right here. Player, render, player, player, right here. We'll have to say true here, but I'll just set false anyway, so I know that I have an extra choice. Now, the same thing for tile map. Actually, when we render it, render texture, player, grid position, and then we're just going to say false here. And let's open up tile map. Here we go render render right here okay const bool show collision equals false and just copy this as usual put it in tile map cpp all the way at the bottom render okay and then we'll go down to where we do the collision if uh, show collision then we're gonna do all this calculation bullcrap and there we go so in game state when I'm rendering the tile map I have false false in the editor state when I'm rendering the tile map I'm just gonna set it true there um, tile map render true so let's try this out let's try this new beautiful functionality out very simple still no errors okay we did have an error there uh, player cannot instantiate abstract class entity render okay const bool show And then in the entity CPP as well, because since we need to have these exactly the same, I'm just going to put it like that. Okay, hopefully this should work now. Unless we need uh, the default value. Nope. Okay. So now we have this beautiful functionality. No hitboxes, nothing. Everything just flows like it should. The character looks nice. The mouse is moving nice. Now it, it fits a lot more, this character, into this world. So... I don't really like the look of it that much. It's not, not a big fan of the red hair, but you know, it's better than the old one. At least it fits in. And it uh, looks like we're in a world of game, pretty much. And if we go into the editor and I load this up, you'll see the hitboxes as well. So, boom, looking good, guys and girls. Uh, let's see. If we just quit all this stuff, there we go. Uh, let's see. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I went over. 10 minute mark but it's all good hopefully you learned something hopefully this was cool now we got a lot you know a game that looks a little better a lot less code more animations and stuff i'll probably end up adding the inventory thing soon also the internal resolution and stuff like that we'll look at it in what what order i do it i'll decide that later uh but uh but yeah for now this is cool got any questions ask me on discord um and feel free to join discord and just chill there with us because Got a lot of people there talking about programming and stuff like that. So it might be cool. Uh, and there you go. Thank you for all the support. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.